Assalamu alaikum. On you be peace from the source of peace. It is Sunday, April the 12th, and it's uh, about 11.55 p.m. Um, I have a question from someone named XLS Gaming, um, and he asks, Hey, on you know, in the Quran alone community, would we celebrate Eid? So that's the question, uh, and I'm just going to take a, a shot at, uh, at responding to it. So, Alhamdulillah, to God belongs all the praises. And um, you can also treat this as kind of a field report of, uh, of the Quran alone landscape, in a way. So, uh, by God's mercy and grace, I've had um, really an amazing kind of journey uh, thus far. So, I'm super grateful and I'm very happy to share some of the, uh, some of the findings uh, along the way. So, um, so let's just go, just get right into the question. So the question is actually fascinating because, um, the truth is you can, um, celebrate Eid. Like <laughs> there's, there's nothing wrong with a celebration of any kind, as far as I can tell, so long as you're adhering to God's laws, right? At the end of the day, that's really all that matters. Um, but but there are lots of complexities in this. So I'll just, I'll just try to uh, give you an overview of some of it. And, um, you know, for, for people who are not like totally plugged into this, you know, it's also been referred to as Quran Yoon. That's what I've uh, uh, discovered along the way, which is like um, people who, who adhere to the Quran are labeled as Quran Yoon. I don't even know, you know, whatever. So Alhamdulillah, to God belongs the phrases. Okay, so, so let's just get down to the issue here. So the issue here is actually the month of Ramadan. So as far as I can tell, and so uh, uh, so what, what what you have actually in the landscape? I mean, if you want color, just let me know. I mean, I'll just turn on the color, whatever. Like you know, you can see color and like uh, etc. But I'm just going to keep it in like in a black and white mode or just whatever mode. Okay, here. So there's um, there is a um, a sister, um, simply Muslim. Um, super erudite, you know, it's just like a beautiful set of videos on uh, the calendar system within, like based on the Quran in some ways. Uh, so let me just provide you like a gist of what it is that I understand uh, off the subject. I'm by no means an expert, uh, and but this is not just from this person. This is like, um, it's, it's, a, it's a pattern that you will see if you're exploring the Quran alone, where you come across um, this solar, lunisolar calendar. So if you're in the um, uh, Sunni circles and whatever else, like, you know, by default, it's just a lunar calendar. It's just a lunar calendar, and that's just, that, that's all there is to it. <laughs> but if you look at uh, the Quran, like, even if you look at chapter 18 of the Quran, where God talks about the youth in the cave, just that particular story. And, um, and you'll notice this pattern in other places too, like, um, uh, like the age of Noah, for example, where God mentions Noah lived for 1K years, less 50, right? And then similarly, these people were in the cave for 300 years, less something or more something like, you know, like there's like, there's like a, there's like a, there's like a little bit of math that God throws in, which is like, uh, here's this number plus this extra bit of numbers. And then you just have to like work with it and so on and so forth. So anyway, so that's just like, just a part of the interesting, um, uh, thing, but what comes out of it actually is, 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 is a, um, loony solar calendar model of, of, um, of, I guess, counting, because I think God speaks in the Quran. I don't have the ayat reference, so you know you're welcome to add it in the comments or uh, you know uh, ask me, and I can sort of dig it up and I can like I can provide it to you. Which is um, uh, the number of months are twelve or something to that effect, right? And like the number of like uh, there's, there's some some effect to saying like year is twelve months, twelve months long, and so on and so forth. And so what comes out of it then is is um, uh, so, so for for you know, I don't want to get into this whole flat earth business and like you just you get all complicated with the situation. But just stick with the phenomenon we can just observe. I mean, I just you know, no offense to people who are of that 
um, thing and like, well, like whatever. I just don't have any any just no comment on it. I'm not contributing into the into that conversation. Rather, what it is is what I observe is like the the weather. What we all do right. Like it's just the, for people who live in certain climates, you experience summer, you experience winter, or maybe cold we, uh, season, monsoon season, raining season. Like you know, we, we know different kinds of like weather uh, and and so on. So so. It takes about a year for you to experience the whole, all the weather, like all the seasons, depending on where, whatever part of the world you happen to be, whether it's flat or, or a sphere, you know, I'm just going to leave that aside. The key thing is you experience those and it takes about a year for that to happen. Uh, and then uh, what's the next thing is uh, for a day, it takes like about 24 hours, like at least with this kind of like 60 Ridiculous 60 model is what I refer to it as. Like, you know, it's like 60 seconds, 60 minutes, like that, those kinds of things. Which is, they can simply be alternate ways of counting times or whatever. But like, that's just the general gist of it. Okay, so why am I saying all of this stuff? Turns out, uh, according to this, like, uh, sister, and, and it's like, it's confirmed. Like, I mean, I was able to confirm this with from other sources as well. Which is the 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 the, the, the calendars uh, in the in the um, like the names of the cal uh, like the names of the months like Ramadan and um, whatever other things like you know because I don't know the Arabic but like the, the 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 names are actually seasonal names like just it's just built in to the vocabulary into the syn semantics I get off the syntax or whatever. Like, you know, I'm not, again, I'm not a language expert or anything. But the key thing is that, right? It's like, it's, it's built into the, into the language itself where it actually means something uh, like, like it's spring season or the season of flowers or the season of this or season of that. Of course. So the, the link of that, that, that sister's video will be in the description and you can like check it out and that'll give you a little bit more of a sense of that. So what, what in essence ends up happening on that model, so when you go with that model, is it's relatively static. In other words, Ramadan will always fall on this time of year, like a specific time of year. So it's not like a moving target as it is right now. So for people who are in North America, uh, and you know, especially in the northern latitudes, uh, Ramadan, according to like Sunni circles or Ramazan, Ramazan, you know, the different ways of pronouncing it, uh, is it, um, <laughs> it keeps, it keeps inching a little bit more and more into, like it keeps moving, right? Like, so, uh, it may have been December at one point in, in the, in the, uh, for North Americans, but now it's summer in the in the in the middle of summer, and it's great fun for people who want to fast the entire day. I mean, genuinely, like actually, it's it's actually quite. Uh, I I had good fortune and experience of actually um, beginning to to like fast, and and what I've come to realize is you can just basically fast throughout the year, and you uh, that's that's the general recommendation that that I'm following based on my reading of the Quran, um, but. The, the 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 like in a sense like fasting is just encouraged god is just encouraging fasting at any like you know fast like it's good for you kind of thing uh and and there's lots 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 happening in that domain so that's maybe a separate thing but 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 just to summarize according to the Quran alone and the loony solar calendar model what ends up happening is the the it's it's seasonal based and you've got like ramadan is kind of almost like it's that season and you just end up fasting there um and um, there's very interesting stuff so so let me know i can just point you to a few other resources but the key thing is it's uh that's the key thing so as a result <laughs> uh eve is kind of not an issue in the sense that like in the sense that yeah if you're if you're you know like for me for example you know, I, I know it's it's a diverse community across the board, right? Like there are people of every, you know, all walks of life. And like, you know, it's like, that's, that's probably what many people's mix is. And so, um, yeah, you celebrate Eid if, 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 if that's if that's your thing. And, and uh, in some cases you might not be able to escape it. It's because like, you know, your family, whatever, it's, you just have to do it. Of course, so just to do it. Uh, I mean, I just I don't have any issues with it per se, uh, but that's the that's the interesting find. In other words, um, the end of Ramadan for some Quran alone flavors will be 
always the same time of year because it falls on that particular season and, and they just, you know, fast at that time. And there's really no prescription of like, you know, throwing a big bash at the end of it. But, you know, I think celebrating is fine. You know, God does talk a, a, a fair amount in the Quran about and then and we just like give the good news to you know bear the glad tidings like is hear ye hear ye and then you and you and you and you and you provide some good news right so uh, there's lots of that good news kind of headlines uh, very often in the Quran that for people who've like gone through it and uh, so that's the gist so let me see if I've answered your question which is uh, here we go. This uh, here it is. Yeah. So it's like uh, um, on Crown Community, would we celebrate Eid? Uh, the answer is, I guess it depends um, because there's a there's a calendar mechanism that that puts um, Ramadan at a certain time. The general mainstream the um, model of it is a lunar calendar, and the and the uh, and the and the Quran model is is not a lunar calendar. It's more of a, a, a um, what do you call it? L solar luni, luni solar calendar. Something. It's very interesting. It's really really interesting. Uh, so that's that's one uh, a piece of it. And I just wanted to leave you one disclaimer. So here's the disclaimer. So when you watch this sister's video, um, uh, it's beautiful. By the way, it's, it's just technically excellent. Um, um, the videoing like it's great it's really really good uh and uh, uh so what you end up doing is um there's a little bit of a 19 plug and for those of you who don't know uh this is like a very interesting movement in the in this space called you know this crown alone stuff and uh uh, uh what that is is um huh, how would i put that uh it's just, look look just uh, Okay, no, there's no, again, I just don't want to have, like, you know, all this flatter and all this, like, just don't, whatever. Like, whatever, whatever. So, similarly, the 19 stuff is, is a very interesting kind of, um, I really can't really get into it too much because I haven't really investigated it, other than there's some mathematics um, interesting goodies. Uh, basically, with the number 19, you can do all sorts of, inter not do all sorts of, things, there's just patterns in the Quran about it. Alhamdulillah. This, uh, this, the Quran is beautiful if, uh, for, for those who, who have been granted access to it. And um, I pray that you and your loved ones are also granted access to it and you enjoy the benefits and the beauty of it as well. Um, but uh, just very briefly, for, you know, just, to, just for people who don't know anything about this 19 stuff, uh, it's just a pattern, I guess, uh, or some uh, mathematical pattern. Uh, and 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 um, for people who are totally versed in that kind of uh, model framework of thinking, um, they see it everywhere. They just see it everywhere in the Quran, and it's just it's very easily um, you can you can uh, decipher it, whatever. I've never been good at math, like the actual number stuff. So thankfully, I would say, but uh, uh, but um, that's it. you know not to say. I mean, for people who get value from it, you know, I just you know. It, to God we are and to God we are returning in progress. So the destination is identical for everyone. Everyone. That's the same ditto exact destination. And uh, what ends up happening is uh, we all you know, take our different paths, but it all ends up in that same destination. And what God says, very interestingly, in chapter 37, uh, no, 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 chapter 17, actually. Uh, I don't have the exact ayat, but um, um, God does say about, like, if you think there's discrimination now here on earth, like, you know, between, like, haves and have nots and and whatever else you think is a, is this is this big discriminatory thing that's occurring you know whatever your pet thing is the ahira will have order of magnitude more uh, that's that's from one of the ayat in chapter uh, 17 um so at the end of the day you know you just uh, do your i mean like i'm trying to just do my <laughs> my bit, my due diligence. I do have another uh, uh, bit of stuff to provide you an update on, on this uh, Salah topic. It's just been incredibly amazing. Uh, perhaps um, God will give me 
you know, uh, sometime to actually make a, a quick video about that as well. So I, uh, uh, XLS Gaming, I hope I have answered your question and um, uh, peace to you from the source of peace. Where is that? Where is this? There. On you be peace from the source of peace.